Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to a preview two of the Alliance Alive on the Nintendo 3DS. Shoutouts to Atlas for providing me a copy of the game. This game releases on March 27th, and there is a demo available in the Nintendo 3DS eShop, so check that out, guys. In the meantime, let's continue on with our preview coverage. <laughs> All right, so in our first preview, about a half an hour long, uh, we battled a little bit and we explored around. We left the main town. Uh, we found a couple of the towers, the guild tower and the library tower. And right now we are at uh, the ancient museum, Forbidden Play, kind of checking things out, seeing what this is all about. So let's continue on, guys. Yeah, do check out the demo. It's available in the 3DS eShop right now. The game launches on March 27th. And of course, you could transfer 4,000 talent points um, from the demo to the full game. So it is worth playing the demo. All right. The Library Guild is with us. These beast folk. Highland. Who the hell are you guys? This place is off limits. You apes should crawl back into whatever hole you came from. <laughs> They're pretty mean, aren't they? Who are you calling apes, huh? Fine, if that's the way you want it. Azura, come here a second. Galil and Azura having a bit of a conversation. Uh, they make me so angry. Bet those guys would bend over backwards if they were demons. But we definitely can't just break through all that security. We'll go around. Hmm. Fine, let's find some place else where we can sneak in then. Good idea. So we're not going to get past these guards. Um, do you want to check something here? You can learn talents, check arts you've learned, use items, change formations and positions, check character status, adjust game settings. Cool. All right, so we have some points we could use. So ability, uh, sword. We chose an awaken, new for sword. It's great. I need to push X to okay it. Cool. We learned that. All right, uh, let's see. We also have a spear, huh? We'll learn that. And we have 839 to spend still. Oops. Yes. All right. Azura, let's do this. Uh, ability, battle prep. When your SP is 20% or below, uh, your SP restored up to 20% of its max. That's pretty handy, actually. Battle prep would be good. Uh, let's see here. We'll take it to the Awakened New with the staff. Beautiful. All right. So we're kind of leveling up that with talent points. So we need to find another area here, guys, to get in. Is there something off to the side over here? No, okay. So we'll just exit out of here, actually, of the main part. Oh, we'll be going to the world map. Ooh, we can examine. There's like a crack in the wall. Hmm, maybe we can't sneak in after all. Huh, just leave this to me. How can we get inside? Ooh, look at this. There's a bit of a crack there, so. Wow, there we are. Didn't those guys hear that? Isn't that a cynomancy? It seems pretty useful. 
Want to learn trying it? Or want to try learning it? <laughs> want to learn trying it? It's early in the morning here. So we're going to hop in here, guys, to this little wall now. Now we're inside the museum. Oh, what's covered up here? This is amazing. Maybe this is where we can find what we're looking for. I wonder, though, is there really a picture of the blue sky around here? So we're looking for the picture of the blue sky to see what it used to look like before all of these clouds took over. Before the demons came along. Isn't that just a legend, though? A blue sky, pitch black nothingness, past the dark current. Those are all just stories, aren't they? I'm fine with that. Even if none of it's true, it's still my favorite story. Oh, an enemy! Hmm, that was weird. These guys are probably a little bit stronger, I would think, inside of here. We'll do a consecutive spike on Sinister A and a leg crush. Ooh. Tiny claw, guys. Some money and talent points gained, that's great. There's a door there. Look at these things. Is that a skeleton? It is! Our first skeleton of the game. Whoa, he has a shield and a spear. Look at this guy. Undead. This is race. Let's do a plunge. Light berry. Ooh, aim struck was learned. Nice. Our first skeleton has been defeated. The door is shut tight. Doesn't seem like it will open. Let's find another way. Yeah, so we're going to go to this door. Hopefully this opens. It does. If one door doesn't open, go to the other one. Some advice for you all out there. Why are only a couple of those beaming towards that, like, dial? What's with those statues? Only two of their stabs are shining. Maybe that's why uh, the sky is dark. Hey, Galil. Huh? Who said hey? Oh, I guess Azura did. And that pattern on the floor is an Aetheract symbol, right? Aetheract. You really don't know anything, do you, Galil? <laughs> She's so hard on him. An Aetheract is an item for using Cynomancy. Look at this dagger. Oh, the one from earlier. That's a really cool dagger. The symbol is the same pattern as the one on the floor, right? Indeed it is. You're right. So, do the staffs that those statues are holding have the same symbol too? Yep. Just about to say that. It's like they do. I don't think any of this is a coincidence, though. What do you mean? Look at the statues in this hall. They're all facing the pattern in the center. Now that you mention it. Right, isn't that weird? Yeah. I bet something's hidden there. Something like what? The picture of a blue sky. Isn't it obvious? What? Anyway, let's try looking around. And this is so exciting. Well, I want to see this picture of the blue sky, I really do. Let's examine these statues. There's something up with this statue. Let's check it out. Ooh! What the, the light's coming from our staff! And you can turn it off. Huh? The light's gone. Cool. Well, can we activate all of them? Should we? Hmm. 
What are these? Like a safe or something? Ah, is this an Etherex symbol? No, it's not. Hmm, a part of it's colored. What could it mean? Looks like you can activate these staves to shine the lights in that fashion. From the shadows. And this statue is the only one that doesn't have a staff. Hmm. Okay. So let's see if we can move and activate uh, the shadows here. So if we turn this one off... Let's get that symbol that has just the going one to the left and down. Um, there we go. So that first one's done. The museum's now opening. Ooh, nice. What was that voice? And I heard a sound from somewhere. I don't know. There's more doors here. Turn this one off. Oops. Should be turning. Um, just want to test this out. This one here, right? That's the other formation that was there. All right, so it's like one of these ways opens the museum. That's cool. Well, let's keep it open. that. We want that one going down. And get rid of this one. We want opening hours here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's like that does that. It opens and closes the museum. Let's go through this door now. That door there. That's shut tight. It feels different from the rest of the building somehow. Well, that door looks like it leads to something very, very important, by the way. Like a, a tomb of some sort, maybe? I don't know. It's up high and has a big door. Ooh, look at this guy with red eyes or pink eyes. Ooh. That animation's really cool. Before the battle. You seize the initiative. Your party's action speed's increased. We're gonna plunge you. Give you a leg crush. Yikes. Not bad. SP. <clears throat> More TP. Not toilet paper. Talent points, people. Talent points. We're okay. Ooh, we got a rainstone? We need to check that out. Rainstone. This stone, eroded by years of rain, can actually mimic rain to fool plants and animals. 
For this reason, it is high demand for horticultural use. That's pretty cool. All right, that's cool. I dig that. It's open. Ooh, it looks like an office. More of these statues. What is this place? Is this a museum director's office? It sure looks like it. There's two chests over there I have my eyes on. Let's go over here first. 500 SO money. I wonder what ESO is called, what it stands for. Steam Cannon. Oh, what's, what's a Steam Cannon? What is that? A weapon designed for the power suit. It's a pneumatic gun that uses steam pressure to fire a small projectile. That is cool. I dig that too. Alright, so... You can rotate the statue. Let's move them both inward. Nothing. Oh, you know, maybe to get maybe together. Let's try that. So they both face the same way. Inwards. Huh? What the heck? That symbol again is lighting up now. Whoa! Hmm. Ooh. A box came out of the light? You darn right it did. If only the museum director knew. Is this a cross? I think there's writing engraved on it, but it looks like another language. Maybe it's some kind of amazing treasure. Let's take it with us. Maybe we'll open a door. We got a mirror across. Is it in items? A mirror found in the ancient museum. Part of it's a, of an exhibit extremely detailed craftsmanship, indicating that the creator was highly skilled. Oh, can we actually use it? it? Looks like a key, doesn't it? The type is a key. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah, I think this is like a key, guys. Um, we probably have to insert into like uh, some kind of door or something or area to access. So we'll check it out. We got a skeleton here. Oh, you know what? Let's try the aim stroke. I'm digging the leg crush too, so. Circle swing, nice. Spear circle swing. You know what, I'll probably go back to my dagger. Oh. We'll take the encounters early on. It's, it's good to do that. time with these guys. Reverse C learned. You're gonna learn new stuff with these weapons, so. Reverse C. And let's have her use this knife for the first time. This little dagger that she showed us. The dagger looks really cool. Well, not bad. Secondary weapon, so. Alright, reverse C is learned by Galil. I want to use this key that we got. It looks like it would go here, doesn't it? I don't know. Can we use it here at all, or it would just be like automatic? 
I'm guessing it'd be like automatic. But, but I'm pretty sure it's a key. The type is a key, it's already pointed that out, so. Alright, so more monsters. I'm big in this museum area so far. Okay. Blade block. Nice. Let's do a slash. Yikes. They're feisty creatures. Taking some hits here, but that's okay. Probably should just focus on one of these guys, but he's down. Uh, you know what? I'll do reverse C. HP is up to 63. Alright. Looks like after battle, your HP goes back to 100%, I think. That's what it looks like in the game. Nice! So the blade block is like a defensive move, it looked like. He absorbed the attack. I like how his bones just shatter. My favorite enemy so far is that, is that bones skeleton. I always dig up those kind of creatures. Alright, let's go. Ooh. We're near some paintings. There's so many pretty paintings in here. Let's take a closer look. A landscape painting. <clears throat> Isn't that the symbol we have of the museum? From, that we got? How's that symbol on top? The landscape. Hmm. There's wind coming from behind the painting. Ooh. Chestnuts. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. What a strange creature. It's like a seal or something, kind of. It's weird. Hmm. It's real. It's a real enemy. It looks cute, but no, it's an enemy. It's a piece of blubber. Oh, this is a pretty big enemy, actually. Water Slicer. Attack leveled up. <clears throat> nice. Water Slicer, that sounds really cool. Phew, that was close. So, that's cool. There's a treasure chest here. Watch it not be a treasure chest. Must be like an enemy inside it or something. Let's see. I, I wonder what's inside. Wait a minute. It's real. Clay milk caps. Whoa! All right. Uh, clay milk caps. Does it? What is? What is that? Oops. Milk caps made from packed clay. Damages the enemy when smashed. Interesting. So we have some chestnuts here. Uh, they're nutritious acorns. They release more flavor the more that one chews them. Uh, it raises focus and agility when eaten. That's nice. So this is like a barrel of some sort. Like a wine barrel or a beer barrel. Hmm. Another one! Doesn't even make sense. These paintings are alive. It's the Alliance Alive! Water Slicer. Give it a test. Nice. I like the animation. 
Phew. Took me by, by surprise. It, it did, didn't it? Alright, so two more paintings here. It's an Aetherex signal. Does it have something to do with the one in the main hall? That one has like light shining straight ahead. Take a closer look. Who is this? It's a picture of a girl. Okay. Oh, more Bonesy. All right. It's a really cool little design on this guy. Give him a water slicer. He's stunned. You missed us, ghost. Oh. Maybe I'm supposed to create shadows like that in the picture from before by using the statue's light. Okay, we can try that. So it's like this one wants one shadow uh, straight ahead. So we're going to shine that. Then turn all of the other ones off. Okay. This one. I'm really enjoying this part of the game so far. It's really early on, of course. So there we go. That's like the one in the shadow, yes? Or in the painting? Nothing? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we're going to face it that way, yeah? Yeah, don't want the beast folk catching us. Okay, does it want us not to show... Uh, maybe the other way? I don't know. But we should close for business hours, what do you think? Alright, so we're gonna get rid of this one quick. We're gonna close the museum. Hours are over with. Hmm, I don't know. That one's just like the painting. But what else do we have to do? Okay, the door is shut tight. Oh, battle chain, that's not good. So the doors are shut because we closed the business hours of the museum here. So a series of battles in a row. You can't flee, but it's good news. You get uh, bonus talent points. This is actually kind of good. There's a battle chain. I'll take it. We can take these guys. Her SP is low. <clears throat> Final battle of the two battle streak. Right. You know, let's do a slash. Little dagger doing one hit point damage. <laughs> That was our first multi, or yeah, you know, kind of multi-chain battle. Uh, 
It's just what I don't know. I don't get it. We'll do this one. And we'll do this one. So we're back in business as far as the museum opening. These are arts and spells, items. Okay, the museum is open. Let's figure this out. That one's shining down. It's turned off. I don't get why. That's giving us... Did we go through this door yet? I don't think we did. We didn't go here yet. Maybe missing something. <clears throat> Look at all these little artifacts. Whoa, what is this room? Wow, there's so many vehicles I've never seen before. Vehicles, cool. This statue again, it probably did something, huh? Whoa, it activated the, uh, this bird. It flew, it actually flew. That's pretty cool. And it flew higher. It's a little faster. It'd be higher, <clears throat> altitude or faster so I keep getting, getting faster yep yeah. one more to go <clears throat> this is the last one ha 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 and faster all of the shining light whoa treasure <clears throat> a medicine pack and strong medicine. Cool. That's awesome. So there's a lot of vehicles here. Is even like an old, is that like an old tricycle or something there? That's pretty cool. It's like an airship here. It's like a merry-go-round, isn't it? That's pretty awesome. Okay. Well, let's battle this little guy. <clears throat> because he's coming after us. But we seize the initiative. Put a little blade block on him. <clears throat> uh, you know what? Just that. Man, it's not biting us. Staff Fog, sweet. I'll take that. Let's give it a shot. Uses two uh, SP, so. And our guard leveled up. And the reverse C leveled up. We found um, Fey Hound Main dropped item from those guys. 
Very nice. Alright, ghost. We'll take you on too. It's not a problem. Oh, I don't want to do that. Tiny claws against us. Ooh, Fiend Claw. Alright, our Water Slash will level up too. Alright, so we were all... Were we in all of the rooms here? I think we missed this one, didn't we? Battle Chain, that's okay. <clears throat> because we can level up the easier with these battle chains too, so that is fine. Do a reverse C. Mowing down these guys. Final battle of the two battle streak. I wonder how high the streaks can go, like three or four or five, maybe? Who knows? Probably three. <clears throat> Taking some damage from that guy. little guys. Our guard is up. We're sea leveling up too. Alright, we'll take him out right here. We'll be fine. So I wanted to go in here. We weren't in here yet. This is like a weapons room. Artifacts, staves, swords, spears, daggers, throwing knives, this room is decorated with all of these weapons. Maybe there's some kind of legendary weapon lying around here. Ooh. It's broken, but maybe this will come in handy later. It's a nomad bow being used for decoration. Take it. Wow. Oh, I, I knew it. Ooh. Mm hmm. I feel like someone's watching me. You take it and, uh... This staff is the same as the ones the statues in the hall are holding. What's it doing over here? The stone staff? This can't be used for anything. Darn. It's broken, but maybe this will come in handy later. A warrior shield. Sweet. Return it? Nah. None of this stuff is useful. This can't be used for anything. So anything else here? Bellatrix. Okay, nothing else, right? Just making sure. No. I don't want to return it. Okay. Um, I think we've gotten everything here uh, that we could. Equipment. That's what we have there. Hmm. Warrior shield, nice.
So I could equip that now? I'm not sure if I want to, though. Oops. I don't want to do that. Did not want to do that. Just want to go to Azura here. Let's get rid of this little knife. Give her the Bellatrix. Aha! I figured something like this would happen. <laughs> He's forced to get out. So these are two tough enemies, guys. They're well armored. Double thrust, look out. Oh my gosh, really? Wow. We should have returned everything, I guess. Wow. I can't retreat. That's okay. We're gonna go down here. These guys mean business, they're very tough. We've been defeated. All items other than the stone staff were returned. I lost. Huh, so we can't take the stone staff with us. So we can take it with us. So, you can't really defeat those guys there, I don't think. They're too strong. But, yeah, so if you guys go through that area, um, just get the stone staff. The rest of the stuff you can't take. Nice. I do want to check. <clears throat> yeah, put that knife back. Okay. Take on this guy. <laughs> we were defeated. But the game is telling us you can't take all that stuff. Don't be so greedy. I'm like, okay. The active trap is cool. You see that? That's awesome. Alright, uh, HP's up to uh, 78 for Azura. 78. Alright, so we visited uh, all of these areas that I know. I need to head back to that painting, I think. I'm not quite sure. So the painting was through here. I need to look at it again. Let's avoid that guy. Alright, this one here. Okay, so light is shining straight ahead. I don't get it. What am I missing? We did everything else. I feel like I'm missing something getting to the last room there. Um, uh, run away! Almost a battle chain. We have the shadow facing that way. I don't get it. Um, I have to make it hold the staff. Oh, okay. That staff we picked up? We put the staff in the statue's grip. And that makes the beam brighter, I guess? Whoa, what? 
indeed it does. So there's steps now leading up to where? Well, not that room. Somewhere else. <laughs> Who knows? At this time, we'll open the top room, or the top floor, the sky room. Are those stairs of light? Hmm. And what a way to end our episode here, guys. Here for a quick save. So next time we come back, we can use the continue option to start our game. We're going to end here, guys, in this museum, and we'll be heading up those staircases, or this staircase, very, very soon in the next episode. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Don't forget, the Alliance Alive launches on the 3DS on March 27th. It's a demo available in the eShop right now, so do check it out. And we'll see you guys back here next time. Take care.